Hello and welcome back to Cyberpunk. So, why are we not where we ended the previous episode? Well, one, what's up with that light there? Anyway, uh, and two, because we ended the previous episode right about there. And there, a bunch of people attacked me as I tried to save the game. But, we have solved that issue. They are now dead. And the quest that's right here, um, we can just do. Because, I mean, we just walk over here. It's called the Heisenberg Principle. Can't help but feel this might be a Breaking Bad reference. That'd be my initial thought here. Let's have a look. Hello, who are you? No affiliation. Cool. See you later. Yep, you haven't. You have a problem. I mean, I can't shoot you because the police would appear, but you know, that's fine. But there are other ways to cause you uh, misery. We can't open that, so I guess it's downstairs is where we want to go. Okay, let's go this way. Um, oh, maybe I should read what the gig is. Maybe that would help. Uh, unless you've been living under a rock, you, you've heard of glitter. Word is that if you take it, you're hooked for life. But apparently it's easier to OD on than neofentanyl. Um, it was only a matter of time before some zit-faced rich kid with his uh, skull sponge, kid's mother... Um, only a matter of time before some zit-faced rich kid fried his skull sponge. Kid's mother was Arati Kapoor, co-owner of the Masala Studios restaurant franchise. Needless to say, she's pretty torn up about it. But she's not the kind to wallow in her grief. She's got a plan. The lab where litter is cooked has to be wiped off the face of the earth. And some of these dipshits making it expire... And if some of these dipshits making it expire on the spot? Well, I think you know the answer. Clicking the cords now. FYI, the place might be guarded by tiger claws. Yes, overly zealous tiger claws, in my opinion. I think we might have killed them all, but I'm just gonna... Whoop. Apparently fall over this tire. Uh, I don't know if there are any enemies in here. I think we might have killed them all. Whoa! That's a no from me there. Um, 17E9. Uh, do we have a 7E9? Yeah, 17E9. Uh, it's gonna have to be like 17... Oh, that doesn't work. I would have to have been that one. Cool. Whatever. I don't need it to be less. I just need it to be brief. We're in combat? With what? Oh, with this guy. Oh. Alright. Problem solved. Whoa! You're right there, lady. Anyone else? Okay, might not be the most stealthy start to an episode. Uh, anyone else in here? Also, apparently that did not disable all the cameras, huh? Hmm. He's going on a little oh, bit of a tear. Oh, somebody's over there, I think? Hmm. How do we get there? Not entirely sure. This is a large lab, though. There we go. Bad fucking situation. Wait, wait, that wasn't that wasn't everybody? Oh. Wait, that wasn't everybody? Yeah, good, that's everybody now. Right. That's the start, shall we? Um let's head all the way around here and get to Luton. Right, so this is the room that we could have gone into with our technical ability. That lets us in here. Okay, cool. Let me just uh, turn that one off here. Because apparently our uh, breach protocol didn't work. But I'm guessing that's because we got caught while we were doing it. That would make sense. And then there's just a whole building to loot. We'll have this. Yeah, turn that off for just now. Well, so we got... We could have distracted people with this. I kind of thought I'd killed everyone, so I wasn't too worried about distracting, if I'm honest with you. Uh, ooh, what's this? Oh, I'll jack in, why not? So, uh, BD, E9, 1C, BD. So, BD, E9. Nope, that doesn't work. Uh, where, where are my E9s? Uh, BD, E9, 1C, Nope, that doesn't work. 1C, BD. There we go. So BD, E9, 1C, BD. That's that's where we need to get to. So I need to end here. Uh, so I could do... Yeah, I don't think we're getting multiple here. So I'm just going to do this. 
Perfect. Nice. Let's go in. Local network. All right. Well, you know what? I'll turn it off. Not that this works, but, you know, or a lot of the time it doesn't tend to work for us. Uh, okay. Head out here. Grab the Cyberpunk 2020 rulebook. Uh, all right then. Well, that's something. Wait, is that actually... It doesn't ha matter how well you know something as long as uh, you look good doing it. If you're going to blow it, make sure you, you look like it pl Make sure you look like you planned it that way. Normally clothes and looks don't matter in an adventure. In this world, having a leather armor jacket and mirror shades is a serious consideration. Think dangerous, be dangerous. Think weak, be weak. Never walk into a room where you can stride in. Never drive slow when you can drive fast. Throw yourself up against danger and take it head on. Never play it too safe. Stay committed to the edge. Alright then. Um, I just want to say that we are fully embracing that with our character. Obviously. Anyway. Um, anything else in here? Ooh, what we got? No Life 3 Review. Don't know what that is. Not going to read it. Um, we will read it whenever we do the reading of all of the other shards that we've got. This thing? Messages? Ooh, two messages. Supplies running out. L listen, I'm starting to run low on supplies. Can you send uh, someone with another batch? I bet you come to the party tomorrow. Girls will be out of this world. I just got one favor to ask. Don't put any glitter in my package. Just the party stuff. Last time we did glitter, the party finished faster than it started. Peeps got floored on that shit. Instead of having fun, they just sat around like zombies. And, you know, that's not really my jam. I don't want uh, my guests to hit the deck like flies. Yo, I'll try to swing by. As for your package, someone must have added glitter by accident. Stuff's definitely not right for your shindigs. Forever young. Uh, oh, that's spam. Okay. Right, um, not that one. Yep, we'll grab this. Uh, anything else in here? I think I missed a room. Yeah, I did miss a room. Or at least a hallway. Yep, okay. Really couldn't have lived without those cards. I suppose it raises our crafting. I think a bit, I think somebody just flew off a wall there. Uh, we'll grab that. What we got here? Get high at home. Okay, useful guide. Uh, can't use that one. This thing? No messages. All right, let's uh, let's jack in. See what we get. Uh, e9. So it's uh, five five e9. Nope, that doesn't work because we want an e9 that's got five five on each side. Yeah, so five five e9 five five seven a. Okay, so that works. Then where do I want to go? I want to go to a bd. All right, so it'd have to be that seven a bd. Yeah, and then that's as far as we can go. All right, five five e9. Yeah, because there's no one C I can go to after this, unless I go like, yeah, I don't have enough to do that. Okay, cool. Uh, there is the RAM upgrade we need to get at some point, but I keep spending money on things that aren't, uh, like, you know, well, I just keep spending money in general. That's kind of the main issue. It doesn't really matter what I'm spending it on. I'm not spending it on RAM upgrades. Grab that. Oh, it's the other side of the wall. Okay. I mean, we need the money, so, you know, gotta go all the way around to get it. There we go. Be nice if there was like an upgrade where it was just, uh, you know, remote hacking or something. You just stand in a room and it hacks everything around you. Seven A one C seven A one C seven A one C. Nope. Seven A one C seven A one C. So that's what we want to do. It means I want to kind of go down here. Uh, one C B D A seven A. Oh, there we go. Uh, one C seven A one C. Perfect. Absolutely what we're looking for. Another 800. Just need to do another couple of those and we're good. Uh, let's see. Not that way. All the way around. All the way around. All the way around. Back to this room that we were in earlier. What's this? Two files. Litter. Just about how much they produce. And then this status. Okay. Destroy the equipment used to make litter. Oh, we can do that. No problem. Um, keep grabbing the loot. Just seeing if these guys had names. Nah, just Tiger, huh? Yep, we'll grab that. Right, just being thorough. Uh, yep, grab his stuff. Grab it. More stuff. Uh, anything else we need back here? Nope, so this is our way out, which we've already got. And if there's any other loot. Ooh, purple! It's not very good. That's fine. Anything else in here? Uh, ooh, we have this. Okay. Install malware? 
Is that our way to destroy it? I guess we could do that, yeah. Also, let's have a look at using it first. Can't use it. Alright, I'm gonna install malware. Leave the area. Wait, did I just hear a new person spawn in? Hmm. Thought I did. That door was open, huh? Think they're upstairs? Hmm. All right, didn't quite get them all, but that's fine. Heal, 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 heal. Get this one. Use it for the quick reload. Well, never mind. Guess we didn't reload. There we go. All right, I believe that we're good. Grab that. One of these guys I killed sneakily, so I should be able to get the um, cold-blooded on him. Maybe that one? Um, I don't know. Right. Uh, I don't want to take either of these. I'll take this. Right. Ooh, I like the way the door opened there. And we're out. Nice. Um, hello. Oof, no more lab. Just like the doctor ordered. Of course, let's not kid ourselves. Glitter's here to stay. But at least we hit the fuckers making it where it hurts. Oh, one last thing. Arati asked me to thank you. Said she's very grateful. So thanks. Catch you later. Perfect. Well, we finished the job. We got paid. Where are we going now? This is a side job we haven't done yet. Let's do that. So unmark this thing. Sure. Let's go. So along to the right. Ooh, this thing doesn't slide at all. Yeah, yeah, my bad. It doesn't slide, it also doesn't turn. That's the other bit I need to learn here. Oh, it doesn't break either. That, that was me holding full back and we just kept going forward. I don't really know what it's designed to do. If it doesn't break, it doesn't turn and it doesn't slide, but you know, it's fine. We're where we need to be. You know what? We can keep taking the car. This almost works. You can't take a car past here? Oh, of course you can. Yeah, you just do it like this. Is this their perfect size? Oh, there we go. Cyber Psychos, take it to the Major League. Alright, time to get out. Can't get out. Okay, that's a major problem. Right, I'm expecting to be called when we leave here. No? Okay. Um, not all people cope um, the same way the first with the first symptoms of cyberpsychosis show up. Some throw themselves off a bridge, others hand themselves over to the cops, and the rest try to self-treat with sedatives. As many as they can get their hands on, no matter the cost. Oh. There we go. Hey, V, could you investigate something for me? Caught wind of a scuffle at the docks. Could be junkies, but this thing smells like a cyberpsycho flare-up to me. And I want to know if drugs played any part. A cold body's no good to check, so keep him alive. Okay. Oh, and there's our money for the previous one. That was quite a lot. Alright, here's the full job. One more thing, security in these places is always beefed up, so chances are this guy's going to pack a heavy punch. Alright, remember not to use our one that's going to kill people. Hey, Johnny. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, so we got the conversation. Let's Lovely have a look. neighborhood. Hey, Frank. Uh, hey, yeah. Can you take my shift tonight? You could be yanking me right now. I've been on my feet 20, uh, 48 hours already. Listen, buddy. You know I wouldn't be asking if I didn't have a good reason. So what is it? I landed two ticks to a Blackouts game tonight. You know my kid's crazy about them. It's the only game we could squeeze in real short notice. Please, Frank. I'll get you back. Three of your shifts for one of mine. Hmm. Fine. I throw in some stims and uh, so I don't keel over on duty. Frank, my man! Anything. Thanks. You're the best. Yeah, yeah. No problem. Don't forget to snap a still of you and the kiddo, Mr. Dad of the Year. Alright, so Frank worked a little bit longer, he's been doing yeah. stims. I think I can see what happened to Frank. Okay. Uh, body sustains uh, injuries from a blunt weapon. 
Okay, same kind of thing. Let's continue in to have a look. So we can go up here. Makes me wonder whether there's Fuck! Fuck me. somebody nearby. Yeah. So who's that? Alec Johnson. Oh, never mind. He just stand still for two seconds, Alec. Got him. Hopefully that was fine. Right. Uh, so afterlife Merc wasn't what I expected. That's okay. Uh, can't do anything with this. This guy. Oh, there's his ticket. Oh. Blake, stop acting like a child. You know I read these even if you want me to think that you don't give a shit by ever responding. Work in Night City is going fine, even if the competition is deadly fierce. I had to invest more in my Chrome work than we originally planned. Honestly, it was kind of hard to find myself in a new me, if you know what I mean. I sort of felt out of body. I don't know, but all's fixed and we're Nova now. Most importantly, I know that we're so close to the job that's going to take us to the next level. I can feel it in my new titanium reinforced bones. Once I land the gig, I'm going to kill it in a blaze of Chrome, fire and style. Then we'll get the life we always deserved. Missing you and loving you, Alec. Then the glitter. Oh, Alec, my dear Alec, I told you to stay away from glitter. That stuff is cooked to get you hooked. Why it hurts so bad when you try to get off it? The pain's designed to resist any drugs or editors. Only thing that could help is a paramotical from body weight life preservation systems. As far as I can tell, they've got some in one of their warehouses in Little China. Problem is, paramotical costs an arm and a leg, and you're just going to have to pop it like Lee. Lilu beans for a while to keep the glitter at, uh, jitters at bay. Ah. So he was trying to get in here so he can get off glitter. And then, well, see how that went. Um, anything else here? So we need to message. So that might be it. Ooh, what, this one? Again, nothing. There's another one back here. Okay, nothing on this guy. Apart from the report. Dock distribution report. Oh, we'll crack security, definitely. BD1C1C. You even trying anymore? Okay. What's it say? Uh, I guess I need to go into my um, shards to have a look at that. Uh, it'll be down at the bottom, right? I drew up the accounts for this month, and it looks like we made a handsome profit off of our initial invest original investment. I talked to Frankie, the guard, who claims glitter, uh, the glitter cut with paracetamol. Uh, is by far the most popular choice. You know what? I read that now and I'm like, wait a second. I recognize that drug. It's a real one. It's not a fake one. <laughs> anyway, um, he also pointed out that the attempted break-ins to the warehouse uh, have increased, seeing as how our newest blend is highly addictive. Thus, he's demanding more guards and enhanced security measures. Needless to say, I nipped the idea in the bud immediately. I told him that we could always replace him with Kang a Kang Tao robot if he can't adequately perform his duties, so I doubt we'll hear any more complaints out of him. That being said, we should consider the long term. Maybe it's worth swapping him out for a robot. In any case, I'm expecting continued profits in the short term, though we still lack reliable long term data as um, as we shall see how the product affects our customers' lifespans. Report of an increase in cyberpsychosis cases directly correlates uh, with our distribution network, but of course we'll omit that from the report. In a few months, we might be in a position to model some accurate simulations. To that end, I gave Frank the task of gathering the necessary data within his territory. Oh, okay. Interesting. Anything else back here? I think we might have got everything we need. Oh, is this another way in? Ooh. No, it's just like a little, uh, a little hidey hole. I guess it was another way in, technically. Like, we could have come up this way. Yeah, and then snuck in, and we, I guess you would have had a really good shot on the guy, like, right here, wouldn't you? Yeah, you sneak here. Yeah, you would have had a perfect shot on him. Especially when he walked over this way. Okay, well, let's message her. Um, oh, we have another message from her? What? What's the other message from her? Uh, glitter. Oh, it was just the gig. That's fine. Uncovered a small-time drug ring at the port with a buffet-style variety in what they were pushing. Folks buying it are mostly the local have-nots, and the rate of cyberpsychosis break-ins among them um, breaks among them is on the rise. Uh, I think what we're seeing is a connection driven by the new drug cocktail that's making waves. Got the guy sleeping soundly over here. Won't be up anytime soon. Ready for pickup. Guessing a lab work should show you what kind of crap he's got swimming around in his bloodstream. Oh, that that was an. Just as I closed it, it came in. 
perfect. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Great, appreciate the heads up. Corpse don't like getting their hands dirty with people on curb level. When a dealer mixes litter with coal dust or some other shit, they get Eddie's signs in their eyes. The money still lands in their pockets. Another bunch of the city's undesirables fade from the city streets forever. Win-win. All right. Well, we got our money. Uh, where are we going next? I think we're going here, right? It's right next door. Seems like a good one. Oh, there's also a tarot card nearby. We should probably go and get that at some point. I basically want to finish off the cyber psychosis and the tarot card ones as, um, you know, before we go too much further. I think they're kind of low level things meant to get you to explore the city, so it seems like they might be good. I don't know why I felt the need to jump there. I mean, it did say walk. You're saying, oh, no, no, over there. It's just such a weird response to anything, really. Ooh. Yeah, shouldn't shouldn't mess with trauma team. Although we could probably take him. Police would come and kill us though, so that seems like a bad thing. Hey, V, got a friend in need. Wants to snatch back an eye he lost playing cards. I an implant, I mean. Should be some easy breezy eds. You in? Catch the deets attached. All right, let's catch the deets attached. Um, okay, got a call from Jacob Lamb, friend of mine, director from the good old days, ex-director I should say, ever since Bushido X uh, made a, a loss of a billion, the guy, or, um, the guy never set foot on a set again. Jacob makes a living playing cards. One time he tried his luck at an illegal Tiger Claws casino at the back of Cashew Hantan Eatery. Things weren't looking good, but instead of getting up from the table, he waited until he'd recoup. First went all of his money, then his watch, wedding ring, and finally one of his optics. Jacob wants his implant back. Sending you the coordinates of the casino where he lost his where he lost it. Uh, as far as I can, uh, as far as I know, the eye's not the uh, the eye's still there. How you get it is your biz, not mine. Okay, so get it. No restrictions on how we get it. No problemo. Oh, you know what? We can probably walk in. Yeah. Yeah, there's probably no issue. I was just going to start shooting, but like it's an eatery. What about Ruler? Yeah. Ever hmm. Tried out? Uh, hello there. What do you have? What do you got? What mommy didn't teach you to read? It's on our menu. You know, maybe we can make an exception and shoot him. Hello there. Either you win or you lose. Wait, we're not allowed to just. I was just thinking like we could just buy it back or something? No? Okay. So that's definitely a way in. That's not really the way in that's going to work for us, though. Hello. Nope, you're not important. That's fine. Just continue uh, coming back here. Who are you? Tiger Claw? Oh. I can't shoot you? I'm not allowed to shoot him. He He's unshootable. Oh. Okay. Are we good? Guess we're good. Uh, force open? With our four force? Or four body? Wait, is it just in here? Wait, oh yeah, there it is. All right, see ya. <laughs> Easiest quest ever? Potentially, yeah. Alright, in, out. All we have to do is run to the drop point and we're done. Okay, I gotta say, early level quests might be pretty okay. easy. I have money. Hey, don't shoot that person. I was hoping those would land, but apparently we're too far away. Uh, Alright, if that's the way we're gonna handle it. Well, there we go. Got him! You're safe now. I have saved you. She just looks so shocked. She's like, who are you? What are you doing here? Um, grab this. Grab that. More junk. I mean, I know we're over encumbered, but you know, more junk. Oh, and there's the drop point. Perfect. Uh, done. Easy. Wouldn't even kill anyone. Right, uh... Done and dusted. Jacob sends you his heartfelt thanks. Also says he'll, um, keep a closer eye on his implants from now on. Oh. Closing the gig. 
That's so bad. I love it. Hey, we got level up. Right, let's do some selling. Uh, so I think I just want to do something like this and pretty much just sell everything. Are you sure you want to sell this item? No, it's iconic. Thank you for the pop-up though. Good to know. So you can sell iconic, but it gives you like a are you sure message like a you're being a bit of an idiot here. That's fine. Uh, keep selling. Keep selling. We can now buy that implant, I believe. Which is good. So if we get to a ripper dock, we can do that. Uh, we also have a ton of money now, which is great. Cool. Here, uh, we keep the club, we keep the iconic, the rest can go. Nice. Clothing. Uh, I mean, it's not better. Realistically, even if it says it's better, like unless it has a uh, crit damage on it, I'm not really interested at this point. Yeah, get rid of all of this stuff. Get rid of all of that. Yep. Perfect. Right, 52,000. Uh, are we a little bit lighter now as well? Yeah, a little bit. Right, quick save. Oh, right, yes, also the new gun that we got. Is it any good? Uh, compare it to this one. Uh, so it's not Skippy, it's the, it's Apparition. So it's tech. Monitors, it's user, user's vitals. Oh yeah, we read, we saw this one before. When we picked it up. Um, hmm. I don't know if this is good or not. I mean, it's not smart, which is obviously a negative. However, it can be charged. I don't know, probably not. Ooh, right, and... Uh, but although we do have technical ability and uh, having high tech does, I think... Oh no, it just allows you to use it. Does each one increase your armor? Which one? I'm sure one of these increases your um, damage with um, those weapons, right? No. Maybe it's a thing in technical ability? Um, must be an engineering. Yeah, probably in here somewhere. Yeah, so it's probably these couple ones all around the place. Yeah, it's all the tech weapon ones. That'll be it. Grants immunity to shock. Fully charged weapons uh, do not shoot automatically. Oh, that's kind of neat. Neat, Yeah. That sounds like that would make it more useful. Oh, okay. There's a ton of cool stuff in here. However, I don't really care. Essentially. None of it really matters. Um, so we can put another point into intelligence. Does that get us anything? Anything at level 12? All right. Level 12. Turret tamer. It sets every turret to be friendly. That's interesting. Uh, you get you can get quick hacks from access points more often. Eh, not too worried about that. Uh, cool. An extra point uh, would allow us to start level which lets into these level eleven ones. Immunity to poison. Pick up a body immediately after performing a takedown by holding E. Okay. Quick melee attacks with ranged weapons stagger enemies, giving you an opportunity to grapple them. I don't know if we need that. We're not maxed on body. We, like we're not even slightly max so we can leave that here uh, all of these are completely max so is there anything we get at level 10 for these no no <laughs> uh, what's this one? Oh, it's the headshot multiplier with um, pistols and revolvers yeah it is interesting uh, what do we get at level 11 is there anything I want I mean, the one thing that we do get is we do get this, which is an extra perk point. And we get two of those, I think, because we'll get the handgun one as well. Yeah. So level 11 increases damage to limbs. Don't care. Crit damage. That's pretty good. Yeah. Crit damage is pretty good, although I tend to use my assault rifle for the first crit now. Or not my assault rifle, my uh, sniper rifle. Reduces reload time. That, that's only for um, assault rifles and submachine guns, so it doesn't matter. Headshot damage. Ooh, but we already like one shot anything if we headshot, so it's like, why would we take it? I think I'm going to put a point into intelligence. Yeah, I think intelligence fits where we want the character to go, so I think that's a better one for us to go for. I do like the making everything friendly. I think that's got an intriguing side to it. Hmm. Um, I don't know. What about quick hacking? Is there anything in here we could get? Quick hack, spread distance is increased by two times. Oh, maybe this is why the... um. Maybe this is why the cameras didn't go out. Maybe it was a distance thing. Um, crafting specs for rare quick hacks. That could be cool. Yeah, let's grab that. 
All right, let's have a look. Do we have any uh, rare quick hacks that we want? Oh, I thought it just said it, it upgraded some, but maybe these are the rare ones. Reboot optics. Yeah, I don't know. It seems like we already have them. Maybe I have to leave and come back? What's this? Oh, it's the battery. Yeah, okay. Let's head out. And then head back. Did I just... Oh, right. That's saying, that's saying my money's coming in. That's fine. Uh, let's go back into crafting. Maybe it just needed us to leave and re-enter. No? Okay. So what did I just pay for? Um, I'm just going to double check. Like, that definitely said gives you... Yeah, unlocks crafting specs for rare quick hacks. All right. Yes, the rare ones were just the blue ones. I guess, uh, yeah, okay. I guess we already had them. Because I don't remember any new ones in there. That's fine. Bit of a weird one to get, but hey, whatever. Uh, oh yeah, where are we going? Um, I think we should head here next. Although there is a reported crime there. Now nah, let's just head here. I don't really care about the reported crime. Oh, you know what we should do? We should head to the tarot card, because uh, otherwise I'm going to forget to do it. Right. Let's use this vehicle. So nice of them to just have a vehicle everywhere for us. I see the loot and I'm like, I'm going to leave it. Ooh. Oh, no, I'm sorry. But you wouldn't move. Right. Hey, trauma team. Don't worry about it. This way? Cool. This car doesn't handle. I mean, they can't really blame me for that, can they? Right. Now there are 300 away. Speeding off. Uh, and it's like here-ish. Yeah. It's here-ish. That almost looked stylish enough that I meant it. Wait, this is Compeki Plaza. Wait, what? Oh, that's it there. Okay. But yeah, this is where the uh, stuff went down. Huh. Interesting. Is there a way? I assume that... Yeah, it's just a little bit... Yeah, then there's no high buildings near it. Yeah, th there's definitely something to stop you getting over here. However, I take that as a challenge, not as a... Uh... See, I see the game design. I see it's not letting us over. I'm like, all right then. Ow. It's barbed wire, huh? Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. Hmm. It's barbed wire on this side of the street, too. Can I get on top of the light here? I think I can. Ooh. Not a hope. Yeah, that barbed wire knocks you right off. They really don't want you going into Compeki Plaza. Hey, you. Get out of the car. Perfect. You'll do. Right, I just need to get on top of it. Ah, uh, I think you could do it with a higher car. I think if you had, like, a truck or something, you could make it over there. With our current setup, though? No. And I also don't own a truck. Also, I don't know if we've seen a truck. But that's fine. We got the taro. Uh, where are we going now? Uh, I don't know. I don't know where we're going now. Could head up to this one, wherever this one is. That's a vehicle. Probably don't need that one. This one. That seems good. Oh, there was a thievery there as well. Oh, that was what I was looking at. Uh, sure. Let's head up there. We haven't been up there in a while. Right, get in. Cool. This car just... It doesn't handle. It's, I told you. We didn't even hit anything. It doesn't handle. This one, however, seems to allow us to drift slightly, which is good. Right. Uh, rounds. We're going large here, so we get round the edge of that one. 700 away. Uh, oh dear. Okay, this isn't going to go well. I knew we had to drift. I just did it too early. See, like that, that could have let us get over there if we got one of these trucks and took it over to Compeki Plaza. That would definitely work, I think. Because we'd be high enough to be able to make the jump directly over the barbed wire. We'll see, though. We'll see. Right. Um, apparently, it's to our right. 
Is it this way? Oh, wow. <laughs> this one definitely drifts. That's all I'm going to say. This one definitely drifts. Um, it's only 90 away. Why am I taking like this really long route there? Yeah, we don't need this anymore. Quick save. Step back. And go. Cool. Oh, have we ever been over here? I don't know if we have. I was going to say, I said earlier, like, we haven't been back here, but I don't know if we've ever been here. War's coming. Just you wait. Where'd I hear that one before? Hmm. Um. So there's a gun guy back here? Uh, there's also in here something? Uh. Yeah, hello, child. Aren't you a bit young to work here? Aren't you a little young to run a business? Someone in the family's got to be the scop winner. I can count, and I've got good hands. All you need. See, I thought that was going to be a Phineas and Ferb reference. Good today. Oh. I don't deal in anything less. It wasn't. Got to respect yourself and your customers too. Hmm. All right, you sell junk. Good to good to know. Uh, down here. Uh, gun. Hey, Jim, go harass someone else. Looking at you? Can't help thinking retail just ain't your hobby. Ain't your calling. You wanna buy? Buy. You wanna talk? Fuck off. Alright. I'd like to buy some iron. So buy some. Uh, so he sells some of these. Ooh, legendary. Doesn't do as much in a single hit, so it must do a lot. Yeah, it must have like a really short amount of time between shots. Hmm. Don't know. Can't see how good the other ones are. It won't show me. Um, some of these will though. That's a knife. That's a lot of damage for a knife. Um, you got some crafting specs for some things. I guess I could buy these while I'm here, just so we have our crafting specs, you know, lined up. Don't know why I feel the need to buy all the crafting specs, but here we go. We're, we're, we're doing it now. Uh, do I need to buy the crap ones? Uh, yeah, sure. Let's buy those. Uh, anything else in here? Nope. No, I think we're good. I, I wish I knew what this did. I don't. I also don't have money for it, apparently, so I guess I'll see you later. Right. Um, this is a side gig I'm looking for. There's also a drugs place nearby. Like here? Let's see what's up with that. Uh, I don't know what we're going to get here, but you know, might get something. Hello. You wouldn't have any medically certified, would you? Certified? Well, yeah, of course. You see, I used to uh, fly with the trauma team. Yeah, junior paramedic, six months. Wouldn't believe the things I've seen. All right. I'd like to see what you can do for me. Plenty, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, we don't need any of this. Okay, cool. See ya. Right, so there's a quest over here. From whatever this is. This dog, it is not mine. None of this me. Cold, dead metal. All of it. Oh, what? all of these are your god, your Kuroshi. To fall victim to Hinsa. Uh, what happened? What happened? Should it itch? Your implants, they look half done. Done or not done. It is of no importance. A bhikkhu does not defile his body through cyber modification. It is against the Platimoksha. And yet, they knew about this. For me, there is no return. Hold on. Somebody forced you. Not just me. My brother, too. They drugged us. Desecrated my body. And all the while, they mocked me. How can you do this to a fellow human being and still mock them? Hmm, why did they do it? Makes no sense. We go and do something like this. And why? We were out begging for alms when... when they approached us. They laughed at us and asked if we would take implants as a donation. They looked more machine than human. They told us they would improve us like tools. 
Maelstrom. Hmm. Where's your brother now? How about your brother? He still with him? Yes. I was first. Then they were trying to decide how, how to modify him. You look like someone who can reason with these people. I beg you, please help my brother. I only hope it is not too late. I do not wish for him to end up like, like I have. All right, what's in it for me? What's in it for me? I don't work for free, you know. I cannot offer anything more than my gratitude. Just this once, please, make an exception. The universe shall compensate you. All right, sure. Uh, I'm here to help. Fine, I'll help. But just so you know, things might get ugly. Maelstrom doesn't mess around. There must be some other way. Help us, please, but without any bloodshed, I beg you. I'll see what I can do. Either way, your brother's getting out. I do not know how to thank you. They're keeping him in a shop just north of here. You shall find it next to the road along the docks. How poetic. A monk in distress. They should include this in your epic. What All right, Johnny. Do? Cross your legs and meditate till they drop dead. Wish you drop dead. <laughs> nice talking to you, Johnny. Right. Uh, I don't know how we're gonna do this without um, violence, but we'll see. Violence is kind of like my mo. If something doesn't work first time, try it with violence. All right. I just want to ask what's going on here. <laughs> I guess I'll walk through the whites. All right then. Sure. Ooh, that's not a bad view actually. Yeah, okay. Wonder how far it lets you swim before it says you're outside limits. Um, right. Heading over here. It says that we can just head in this way. I'm just going to follow the exact route it tells us to walk. Hello there. Can we chat? The fox cows, cubes, listen. What if instead of an arm? I'm, 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 I'm out, I'm out. Every time he just take a piss, he's... We're not in combat. We just had a little, uh, you know, one-on-one one -on -one conversation. Get this. Full metal monks. <laughs> you stole my fucking joke. Please, Dharma has brought me peace. Do not deprive me of. Uh, let's do this. Then breach protocol. Uh, seven A E nine B D. Seven A E nine B D. Seven A was E nine. Seven A E nine B D. So this is what we need to end up with. So can I end that on this? No, so I go some like... Uh... I can do both? Cool. Then I want to ping. So this is where they're keeping our fellow brother. Fuck! Gotta freak it! Wait, what? How did you even see me? Okay. I guess it's not silent. Well, no, it is silence. I don't know. Maybe he just saw me. That's fine. They can see me, I guess. We just gotta do it peacefully. Well, by peacefully, it's just like a non... Um... Yeah, we gotta do it in a way that doesn't kill him. Quick save. Forget this. Full metal monks. <laughs> you stole my fucking joke. Please. Dharma has brought me peace. Do not deprive me of it. Open your flap again and I'll rip your tongue out. Fuck. Gotta break. Yeah, I was kind of worried about that. So they, they just hear me if I shoot from up here. That's fine. We can work around it. Just thinking how we want to work around it. Obviously, the guy at the front door is down, which is fine. Hmm. 
Thinking. Ah, and then he'll start a next gen Buddhist fellowship of. Get this. Full man. You still want fucking chunks. <laughs> so this one, I think I want to distract enemies with. Hell so I'll turn around. Open your flap again and I'll rip your tongue out. So this is where they're keeping our fellow brother. Cool. That seemed to work. Uh, I believe do we've dealt with this. all of them now. Invitations against my police. Please. Hey. I do not want them. Uh, grab these. Uh, grab the loot. Grab the loot. Grab some more loot. Ooh. Oh. No. Apparently that's not a weapon we can pick up. Uh, grab that. Grab that. Some more of this. Some Euro dollars. Anything else in here? You got the cameras, but who cares? I mean, whatever. Um, this guy at the front, and this this guy back here, I guess. There we go. Perfect. And then there's also the person who's further away. All the way back this way, for some reason. Okay. Don't know why we could deal with... I'm trying to think how we would even have got in here. Yeah, I guess out through that back bit there. I don't know if this would even be better as a way of getting in. I think the way we handled it was fairly alright. Alright, hello. Calm down. It's over now. Ooh. I'm not with them. So, what are you doing here? What happened? Uh, first, want to make sure you're okay. Glad I got here in time. Are you okay? Did they do anything to you? I was lucky. They could not decide which implant would be funnier. Cyber psychos. The lot of them. One, one of them wanted to remove my jaw. The thought itself gave me shivers. Thankfully, did not get the chance. To what do I owe this intervention of yours? Your brother. I was walking by, caught some lame jokes about metal monks. Think about Maelstrom. They're never just joking. Nah. The truth, your brother sent me. He didn't want the same thing to happen to you. From the bottom of my soul, thank you. I'm especially grateful nobody was killed. May you continue on the path of peace. What compels these monsters is of no consequence. It's not up to us to judge what they deserve. Uh, yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. How did you get taken? How'd you even get taken by Maelstrom? Most people avoid him like the plague. We are here as strangers. We wander from place to place. When we arrived in Night City, we had no time to identify its dangers. Don't monks live in monasteries? It used to be, they did not. My brother and I belong to a group that follows the earliest Buddhist teachings. It is an interesting life. We have met many unusual people. Yeah, so I see. There's no need for sarcasm. We know the world is dangerous. But if one takes no risks, one will never know what lies beyond the front door. I'm sure you understand. Hmm. Okay. Well, your brother's waiting for you. Your brother's waiting for you. Not far from here. First, I must catch my breath. And then I shall go. It is him who shall need saving now. Look who's taken the righteous path. If you're so afraid of killing, maybe you should have become a monk instead of a merc. Killing isn't the solution to everything. If you want to change the world, there's always a price to be paid. As for these chrome fucks, you think they got all this gear by sitting around going, um... If they had enough to spare on monks, then surely they don't need all of it. Alright, well, time to go. This is just another example of Johnny just being, uh, you know, generally just a rude dude. Oh my lord, what's happened? It's become, uh, all yellow outside. All right, we're going to head over to do this thievery. Uh, let's quick save. Um, I believe we also have a perk, yeah. So, we got this one. I'm seeing what else we... Yeah, let's take the quick hack spread distance. Sure. Sounds cool. Uh, oh, and then we picked up a weapon as well. Uh, we picked up uh, Fenrir. Yeah. Deals thermal damage with an increased chance to apply burn. It reduces bullet spread, increases bullet impact to the cost of higher recoil. 
Okay. Interesting. Don't know if we want to be using it, but still, interesting. Yeah, look at this. Okay. Our view is gone. Hmm. Yeah, it's just a what such a weird thing over here, the smoke effect. Do you get the feeling that like this was maybe a test area? Like uh, they decided, you know what? Uh we want to try out the smoke effect. Let's see if it works. Okay, well let's put it up on this area at the back. Because I've not seen that anywhere else in the game so far. Except maybe when we ran away from Takamura. Oh yeah, apparently we could have saved Takamura. Had no idea, I just left. I thought the quest was just telling us to go. But, yeah, apparently that's locked us out of an ending. I don't know what that ending is, but given I didn't know it existed, no, no harm, no foul. Um, okay, those are police officers. Probably shooting them would be a bad idea. 60 away. 40 away. There we go. V, got a gig for you. One I'd rather not have. Bryce Stone, preacher on TV. His son was brutally murdered. Only way to catch this child killer is to get your hands on the original BD that recorded the whole thing. Yeah, you heard that right, unfortunately. More info attached. Alright. Um. My good friend, the televangelist Bryce Stone, don't ask, it's complicated, needs our help. Look, his little boy was ca kidnapped, brutally murdered a few days later. The NCPD dropped the case due to lack of evidence. Bryce decided to take matters into his own hands and found a BD scroll of his murder, but the virtue is heavily edited, meaning there aren't a lot of clues to go on. If you get your hands on a raw cut, there's a chance we can identify the murderer. The virtue was put out by two XBD tuners, Gottfried and, Fried and Frederick, in Northside, and Bentley they still have the original somewhere. Just watch out for the maelstromers that are gu guarding them. Alright, I have an idea. Whoop. Oh, we're, we're not yet in an area we're not allowed to be in. Okay, well. Don't see what could go wrong by doing that. Switch. Jump. Just going to do a little breach. So, one E9. Oh, yeah. It's this. Perfect. Cameras are off. This guy now. Um... I'll handle him. Is apparently still a camera active? Uh, we didn't even headshot and we got the kill. Alright, now I know what kind of area we're in. To this camera? Is it still going? No. Okay. Um, it was on our mini-map until I scanned it. I think we're good to go then. So... Whoa. There we go. Problem solved. Oh, also, um... No, it's not silenced. You know what? I don't want to shoot. Because I don't want to alert anyone. Whoa. Let's do a little jacking. This one again, easy. Uh, yeah. Still pretty easy. So, something like this. Uh... Oh, I should have done... Wait, no, I had no way to do it. That's fine. Cool, we did that one. Another thousand. Grab the loot. In we drop. Quick save. Continue grabbing all the loot that we can in here. Just, ooh, yeah, another couple bits of loot. I actually kind of prefer, like, the absolute garbage loot right now because it gets our crafting skill up. That's kind of weird how it's changed. Like, I prefer the loot which is just... Like, just a pack of cards or, you know, those medical forceps we found. Because they, they increase our crafting skill. So they have a bit, a bit more right of a purpose. There. Quick save. We found a studio. Right before he gets... What do you think? Else it'll feel like stabbing a pillow. Wakey-wakey, gentlemen. W what's happening? Well, let's not do anything rash here. We just tune and sell. We don't scroll. Honest to God. This your little family business? This out. Got a little just... family affair going here, huh? People want to buy, so we sell. Business is business. Oh. Looking for something in particular? You know, if, if it wasn't us, there'd be someone else. You, you, you want to see something really hard for Freddy! We just supply what Night City demands. That's all. Hmm. Uh, the brain dance of the preacher boy's murder. XBD of a preacher's little boy. 
murdered. Ring any bells? Uh, which preacher? I just got a fresh batch. Did you just say boys. which preacher? No clue who their daddies are. I'm gonna need more. Bryce Stone, circuit rider on News 54. Son was Bobby Stone, 12 years old when he died. Are we talking black, white, Chicano? Any identifying marks? Style of execution? Papa? I think I know the one he wants. BD 9430. Who killed the preacher's son? Preacher's boy. Who murdered him? Who gave you the XBD? Nobody gives us anything. They they leave dead drops. We just go pick them up. Keeps things secure for everyone involved. XBD was raw when you got it. Must have noticed something in the background, some kind of clue. Reflection in the mirror, tattoo, anything. Our, our, our only concern is with imperfections, not who makes them. Hmm. Give it to me. Kindly hand it the fuck over. Now. All right, please, just relax. Just take it. Freddy! Sir, it's just behind us on the shelf. BD-9430. All right. We can stand up again. Sorry, sorry for skipping the line of dialogue. Every time. It's like I don't want to be crouching for the whole thing. That's it. That's the one. Just, just take it. Papa! Ah, oh, they had voice lines for that, huh? Right. Um. Do what you want. I will. I quit. One more time. Do what you want. Or do you need my permission or my advice? Sorry, couldn't answer. You're taking things way too far. Uh, what you're doing is insane and, dra and dragging your son into it? I mean, that's fucking sick. This can only end badly. Now you've got Eddie's. Hope you can afford that guilty conscience of yours. Gotti, at least leave Frederick out of this, seriously. Worry about yourself, Lenny. Ah. So it was Godfrey dragging his son into it and all that sort of stuff. You know, feel slightly worse about killing the son, to be honest with you. But you know. Hey. We're just doing a uh, public service. Right, um, also, we can now explore this place further. Doesn't appear to be anything else in here to explore, but you know, we can explore it. Guess we can head down here. That says it's something. Oh. Interesting. So where does this area lead? Oh. Do like some homeless people? Oye, despacio! No, I wanted to grab the cards from under your leg. Don't worry about it. I'm out of here. Right. Who are these? Oh, those are Maelstrom. Okay, that's fine. We'll let them live for just now because I think they're, they were the other ones you could have killed for the quest. They're not just random ones. So they'll probably trigger a whole fight sequence. All over here. And a little bit further. And there we go. Uh, deposit. Job done. Great work, V. Let's hope it helps trace the motherfucker who scrolled the thing. Gig's closed. Nice. Alright, we got our money, and I think it's time to end the episode. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.